Hello G.I. Joe fans, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and this is the donation unboxing video. I am going to open and show you everything I got in the P.O. box for the month of September 2019, and my god, this may be our biggest month ever. I want to remind everyone that you should never feel under any obligation to send anything to the channel. Um, I, I'm just happy having you here watching the videos. That's all you need to do, and I'm just thrilled that we are going on this G.I. Joe collecting journey together. Uh, if you do feel like sending something in, uh, and you'd like to help the channel in that way, I do have a P.O. box. The address will appear on the screen right now. Uh, but again, don't feel like you have to send anything in. If you do send something in, I will show my appreciation by opening it in a video like this and showing everyone what you sent to me. We got so much stuff here, including a couple really big boxes. We got two letters, one of them an international letter, and a couple of these boxes are from Brandon Knight, and he's been sending me emails saying they're special and he can't wait for me to open them. Well, I'm going to get to open them now. I'm going to start with the letter from the UK because it came in first. I do not see the sender's name on the envelope, uh, but there is a question written on the back of the envelope. It says, what if Hawk was worthy enough to pick up Thor's hammer? An intriguing question. But considering, uh, considering Hawk's behavior in the comic book series, where he kind of manipulated his troops on several occasions, maybe unnecessarily put them in harm's way, maybe a couple of times, I don't think Hawk would necessarily be worthy to pick up uh, Thor's hammer. Hawk is a great leader, no doubt. But... Um, he, he has a little bit of dirt on his hands, that's all I'm saying. Uh, intriguing question, I don't think I've ever thought about that. So I'm going to open the envelope and see what kind of letter we get. Um, if it's a short letter, I will go ahead and read it. Uh, if it's really long though, I will, um, I will pause the video and read it and I will give you uh, a general idea of what's in it uh, and reply to any questions in it. Uh, so let's see here. Um, and ah it looks like we have a list so let me pause this and read through this list really quick okay gary watson thank you for sending this letter gary uh and gary has a list of uh, some of his favorite gi joe and action force figures uh and i i think it's a really good list uh we've got snake eyes version 2 shockwave version 1 airborne version 1 Beachhead version 1, Firefly version 1, Airtight version 1, and Barbecue version 1. Um, all really good figures. Um, he, uh, he had sent a letter before saying that he thought G.I. Joe should have been sent to Marvel's uh, Earth 616, but then he was made aware of an Action Force uh, comic book in which um, uh, G.I. Joe's Quick Kick was trained by Marvel's Shang-Chi Master of Kung Fu. Uh, and that is true. Um, and... Yeah, uh, Shang-Chi, uh, I'm sorry, Quick Hit considers Shang-Chi to be better than Iron Fist, um, Batrock, and Elektra. Uh, yes, so in Action Force, kind of technically, Action Force is sort of in the Marvel Universe, at least that version of it, that side of the universe. Um, and depending on how you look at it, in the U.S. series... G.I. Joe is sort of in the Marvel Universe, but not really. It's kind of, it's kind of a gray area because G.I. Joe had an in-canon crossover with Transformers in the regular Marvel series. That's later in the series, toward the end of the series, but there were Transformers in the G.I. Joe comic book. And in the Transformers comic book, there were Marvel Comics crossovers, including an appearance by Spider-Man. So, if Transformers are in the same universe as Spider-Man, and Transformers are in the same universe as G.I. Joe, then G.I. Joe should be in the same universe as Spider-Man. Now, I don't think it's ever been treated that way, and in fact, I think that that particular story element has kind of been... I don't know, kind of brushed aside. I don't think a lot of people consider that to be canon now. Uh, the whole idea of canon is a little tricky anyway. It's, uh, uh, it's, it's something that fans seem to care a lot about, but in most uh, 
pop culture and most um, popular fiction. Uh, they try to stick to a canon, but most don't do it very well. Uh, so, yeah, as to whether G.I. Joe is in the Marvel Universe, I guess that's up to interpretation. I don't think it is, but there is, uh, there is information out there, there are sources out there that could make you think that maybe they are. So that's an intriguing idea. Uh, thank you, Gary, and thank you for writing to me all, all the way from England. It's much appreciated, and again, an intriguing question about Thor being worthy to pick up, uh, I'm sorry, Hawk being worthy to pick up Thor's hammer. I don't think he would be. Hawk is not that, that nice of a guy. So, uh, but uh, thank you. Thank you for this, and I, as with all letters that I receive from anyone ever, I, I keep them all, I do not throw them away, so I will uh, keep these with all my other letters and I will cherish it. Thank you very much. Next letter appears to be from Jay Luby, and it says, do not bend, please. Well, I was going to bend it, but since you said please, I will not. So let's see what's in this envelope that he does not want me to bend. All right, here we go. Ah, ha, ha, there we go. I see what it is. It is a file card for Dogfight. As some of you may know, I recently got Dogfight in the Mud Fighter, and there he is. Um, that was what I was missing, so that's very helpful. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, we have a letter from Justin Luby. Uh, Jock Hardiron, that's the code name. Uh, I'm so glad that, uh, that you're using that. That'll be your nickname forever. Um, Jock Hardiron. It says, Hello Commander, thank you for your knowledge, time, and energy you put into your channel. I enjoy your reviews and uh, Tuesday night chats. Uh, if I'm not working, I try to drop in. Well, thank you for dropping in. It's appreciated. Here is Dogfight's file card to uh, make the mud, uh, mud Fighter complete. Thank you very much. In fact, on one of those live streams recently, uh, we were talking, and I think we got the Mud Fighter and the Mud Buster mixed up. Mud Fighter, Mud Buster, you know, um, although they're completely different kinds of vehicles. It says, keep up the good work, and uh, if it wasn't for you, my knowledge of G.I. Joe uh, would only... Uh, be they are just a toy. Thanks again, Justin Luby, Jock Hyder. Thank you very much, and uh, I thank you for being here. Guys like uh, like Justin really keep me motivated to keep going. Um, I enjoy making the videos. Uh, they do take up a lot of time. Uh, I always wish I had more time to put more into them, but I do the best I can. Uh, but uh, you know, being joined by by people who appreciate the hobby and that still love and enjoy G.I. Joe and who are interested in going on this journey with me. Uh, that really makes it worthwhile. So uh, thank you for this and thank you for helping. This helps get a review ready to go. Let's move on to the boxes and I've already cut all the boxes open so that it'll be easier to open up and show you what's in them. And Brandon Knight has been very eager for me to open the two boxes that he sent, so I'm going to do those now. Uh, the first one that came in was this one in a priority mailbox. I have cut the end open. I have not pulled it out. It's very light. It's very light, so he may have sent cash. Don't send cash. That's not necessary. If it's cash, I'm going to send it back. Don't send cash. Let's see what it is. Um, I see bubble wrap. It is well wrapped, and I have to say, okay, good. I have to say, um, when you're sending anything, not just to me, but to anywhere, uh, make sure you uh, you wrap it well. Make sure you pack it well, because sometimes I get boxes and it looks like UPS uh, or USPS has drop kicked them. Like this one right here, it was all dented when I got it. I'm sure it wasn't sent like that when it was sent. So I'm just saying, USPS. They're charging more to ship stuff, and they are drop-kicking boxes, it looks like. So protect the things that you're sending. Okay, so um, Brandon's box has something flat uh, in bubble wrap. I do not know what it is. Let's see. Uh, it is well wrapped. It's uh, still going. Still can't tell what it is. Uh, let's see. Ah, we have a letter. And we have a folder. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, and something came out of it. And ooh, it looks like, yeah, it looks like a Cobra decal. 
that's pretty sweet. And we have a letter from Brandon. Okay, the letter, oh, and I just saw some Cobra stickers. So uh, really awesome stuff. Uh, these are really cool. Um, and we've got a letter from Brandon that says, thanks for all the fun and the hard work. Still amazing all the new stuff we keep learning and finding with G.I. Joe. Also, the new friends we keep making uh, is great. Yes, new friends, that's the best part for me. Uh, but a moment has come at uh, but a moment has come at last. We can't avoid it anymore. Yes, search for your feelings. You know, be true. Must review the 90s. Yes, uh, that's right. Uh, in 90s color is back. Uh, in 90s color. That's a thing that I did for a video. Um, you might need sunglasses to get through the reviews. Uh, now to the bigger item. Uh, in this folder contains a uh, top secret projects. Uh, not allowed to show the community what the projects are. For this, I command. Okay, so I can't show you what's in there. Oh, it's even labeled. Oh, that's cool. It's even labeled the confidential top secret um, Project Cobra. So I, I can't show you what's in here. Uh, no matter if the community begs you or even offers you money. Well, it depends on how much money. Everyone has a price, but we'll see. Uh, once you have read the files, you must keep them safe and hidden. Let these files become a uh, mystery to the community. Keep up the uh, great work and stay young in your heart and soul, your pal Brandon Knight. Um, this letter will self-destruct in notes. It'll self-destruct in five, four, three, two. Um, thank you, Brandon. Um, and I, I won't show anybody, but I'm going to browse through here. So this is intriguing. Uh, obviously, I'm not intended to read these right now. I will read over these uh, in more detail um, later, privately, and uh, we will keep this secret. So thank you, Brandon. Um, and uh, yeah, and, and thanks for the stickers too. These are cool. Uh, this is, this looks like a window decal uh, for Cobra, so this is something I might uh, might actually be able to use. That's really awesome. Uh, so thanks, Brandon. Brandon's been a, a big uh, friend of the channel for quite some time, and he mentions the 90s. Uh, well, as you may know, uh, 2019 uh, has been the year of the rarity. Lots of very rare things uh, reviewed this year. Uh, so we'll probably finish up the year reviewing a few more rare G.I. Joe items. Uh, however, next year, next year may be the year of the 90s. We got a lot of 90s stuff we got to get through, a lot. And next year, next year may be the time that we actually do it. So uh, Brandon, uh, I may find your notes there quite useful, uh, but thank you for sending that. So let's move on, let's go ahead and open uh, is that it? No, this is it here. Let's open Brandon's other box since uh, he has been very eager that I open it. So let's do that. Um, Trying to open it so I don't show anybody's address on camera. And we have. See, this is excellent packing. Excellent packing. The boxes arrived in pretty good shape, but you never know. You never know which box is going to be drop kicked and which will not be. So, uh, well packed, Brandon. Um, and we have a letter. Oh, should I read this? I think this gives away some of. This letter may give away some stuff that's in the box, so I won't read this letter right now. I'll read, it, read this letter later. Um, but let's go ahead and open and see what's in. I don't want to so spoil it, I want it to be a surprise. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. All right. Brandon, cool stuff from Brandon. Let's see. Let's see. Now you're going to get a kick out of this. You're going to get a kick out of this. So let's start. Let's start with the core. Now you guys remember these? Okay. Where's my little clicker? Where's my remote? Let me zoom in. There we go. You guys remember these? The core. I like this. This is gung-ho. International Security Force. I, you know what? I think uh, this was yeah by Lannard Toys. I think Lannard got sued for this by Hasbro. I think there was an actual lawsuit. Hasbro sued them for using Gung Ho um, as a label with a bunch of GI Joe like characters. I'm pretty sure that's correct. Um, but this is awesome. I mean, they're sealed on card and so cool with the uh, Walmart price sticker um, and like these were it looks like three dollars and fifty eight cents for three figures 
So you get three figures for just a little more than you could get one G.I. Joe figure for. And some of the parts were compatible with G.I. Joe if you did customizing, which we did when we were kids. So that's awesome, Brandon. Let's see what else we got in here. Let's back this up a little bit. But the core, uh, or Gung Ho, uh, really awesome. And uh, we've got some, uh, some DVDs. And these will be, ah, uh, yeah, see, uh, DVDs of the um, Sunbow series. Um, I had had some DVDs of the Deke series, but I still needed some of the Sunbow series. That is like everything, it looks like. Um, and then the Deke series. So this is like um, complete or almost complete. Um, G.I. Joe on television in the 80s, which is amazing. Um, I do have like the Mass Device miniseries and the um, Pyramid of Darkness and those. I, I think I have all of the, like the early miniseries, but when it actually picked up as a regular series, there, I was missing a few. So uh, huge help. Huge help. Great for research. Um, and uh, oh, check this out. Okay, hold on. I don't want to get ahead of myself. Uh, there's this right... Oh, look at that! It's one of the uh, Air Commandos gliders. Dig that! Um, I actually had not uh, dived into Air Commandos yet. Uh, these things can be surprisingly pricey, um, but, uh, but I kind of dig them. These are working gliders, kind of like the Falcon glider and the Viper glider from 1983. Uh, these are supposed to be working gliders, but as you can see, much smaller than the uh, gliders from 1983. So more in scale with the figures. Uh, so awesome. This is uh, another big help, and I, I'm running out of room here. Actually, I'm going to pause this, move some things around so I'll have more room to work on my table. Okay, spread things out a little bit. i got a little bit more room to work here. So, uh, all right, let's see. This is a big box, and there's a lot in it. So let's go through it, and um, we've got a... Uh, oh, look at that. That is a uh, GIJoeMovie.com Rise of Cobra uh, koozie. Uh, and yes, you know what? I may enjoy a, a nice uh, cold beverage this evening uh, in my G.I. Joe Rise of Cobra koozie. Now, say what you will about Rise of Cobra. In fact, I have. Um, it, uh, it had some problems. It had a lot of problems. But, but one thing that it did, a little bit at least, is it did keep, get people talking about G.I. Joe in a way that they hadn't for a long time. Um, it's just too bad it wasn't a better movie, and, you know, maybe we could have done something with it. But, uh, uh, yeah, but the, the fact that a bunch of, you know, popular G.I. Joe merchandise was out on the shelves at that time was pretty cool, and I did really think that was awesome. Um, so we have some uh, O-rings, which is great because I was uh, almost out of O-rings, so thank you for that. We've got uh, missiles and a bipod in there. I will find out what those go to. Uh, we have another core figure, Bengala 1986. Did they package a core figure with a low-light backpack or a knockoff of a low-light backpack? That's uh, Of course they would. Of course they would. That's awesome. Um, I see. Oh, hey, this is cool. Um, exclusive commemorative edition. Um, G.I. Joe, this is General Hawk. I believe the mail-away General Hawk. Um, that's cool. Uh, I, I didn't have this figure. It's Apparently it's a limited edition because it's numbered. That's awesome. Uh, this is one that, you know, hey, we were talking about uh, next year being the year of the 90s. This is one that I was actually actively thinking about looking at specifically next year when we dive into a bunch of 90s stuff. And uh, uh, we also have, the, these are cool. I, I don't care what anybody else thinks, I think these are cool. These 30th anniversary uh, 3 and 3 quarter inch edition, hold on, let me zoom in a little bit. Um, essentially 3 and 3 quarter inch edition um, action soldier, action marine, 
Uh, kind of throwbacks to the 60s figures. There's the action pilot. Uh, I dig these. I really, uh, really like these. And I believe they had a, yeah, they opened up and you can see the figure and accessories in there. I love these. Um, I got a couple of these at Joe Fest this year. And um, uh, I wouldn't mind having a whole set. Um, and hey, you know, they have flag points. So I think technically that fits within the scope of what we review on this channel. I think that fits. So these are great, incredibly awesome. Um, there is a file card for the Cobra Bat, uh, which I needed. So I think that one is complete now. I think I'll double check that. We have, we have a Shadow Ninja's, um, looks like Shadow Ninja's Nunchuck. Is that right? Yes, um, Shadow Ninja's Nunchuck. Those guys are really, really fascinating to look at. Um, so yeah, you're right, Brandon. Uh, special stuff, very special stuff. Um, that's a Flak Viper, and that is uh, a I can't remember. Oh man, it's just on the tip of my tongue. This guy. Anyway, uh, we also have Gristle and Astro Viper. So these are going to be big in. Uh, 90s reviews and I know some folks find the 90s reviews quite tedious and I understand but we got to do them we got to do them to accomplish this channel's mission we got to review everything 1982 to 1994 and these guys are included and Brandon has helped a lot uh, with this box so thank you very much Brandon it's very much appreciated and thank you for all of your support over the years okay next I will open this box because it just happens to be on top here uh, this is from Emmanuel Henderson uh, so thank you Emmanuel um, and I am opening the box now um, and I don't know what's in it and there is a letter a sealed letter so a sealed letter within a sealed box let's let's see what it says here uh, let's open that up and all right okay now this letter is a couple pages long so I'm going to pause the video so I can read the letter and I will give you an idea of what is in it okay sir thank you very much for the letter I will not read this out loud because it does spoil some of the stuff that is in the box and I want you to be surprised uh, by it there's some practical useful things in here um, which is excellent um, because I I, I, can, I can use them <laughs> so thank you for that and one thing that you did mention is uh, sometimes in collecting um, the desire to compete with others tends to overshadow the, the brotherhood we share. And I agree with that. And there are some people who uh, seem to view collecting as a competition. And I guess they're welcome to, but I never have and I don't think I will. And I really much more uh, enjoy, you know, the collaborative effort, uh, getting to know people, um, you know, uh, joining a community and, and and enjoying things rather than you know trying to beat somebody at collecting something uh, so I appreciate that sentiment and um, I appreciate the letter so now let's uh, dig in here and see what some practical things are uh, inside the box and I see something with some tape and I need to grab my knife really quick uh, because I will need to cut that open hold on pausing one more time okay so we have a box within a box um, and I have cut the tape on it, and this is wrapped very well. See, you guys are smart. You're wrapping this stuff well. Yes, these are, they look like 3D printed um, Cobra magnetic uh, little symbols here. Hold on. Uh, so they are magnetic, and they have the Cobra symbol on it, and I dig the colors. That's like that's like Cobra Commander version 1 colors. Um, so let's see. I think these are going to be... I think that's what these are all going to be. Yeah, but in different colors. Check that out. Some almost Crimson Guard colors. Uh, the black and red, I'm a huge fan. of uh, Black and red, I just think, goes beautifully together. Um, either, with, well, <laughs> either with red as dominant or with black. Uh, both are really nice. These are gorgeous. Um, thank you for those. 
brilliant. I'm going to find a place, since they're magnetic, I'm going to find a place to stick them. Um, we have, I don't, I'm not going to open this because I know what it is, um, but this, these are uh, file card protectors. Uh, and they're just the right size for G.I. Joe file cards. Uh, these are great. I have some fairly rare file cards that I don't have protectors for. Huge help. Uh, this goes right along with uh, Brandon sending O-rings. These things uh, you may not necessarily think about, especially if you, you don't collect uh, toys, uh, if you don't collect G.I. Joe. You may not think about like how you store these things and you know how you protect them stuff like this and you know sometimes it can run kind of high you can spend as much on the storage things as you do on the the toys themselves uh, these are figure stands um, they are yeah they are the like the clear round figure stands these are nice uh, they take up less space than the rectangular figure stands the standard ones that we use uh, so excellent really cool supplies it's supplies also, I love supplies. Um, and this says photos no bend. I will no bend the photos. Um, ah, uh -huh, yes. This, look at this. This is a two in one. This is both editions of the De Simone guide. I do have up on my shelf an old copy of the first one that I've had for years. And I've used for years, um, and but I never had the second edition, which uh, basically finishes out the line, uh, because the first one ended in I think 1992, and the last couple years um, were not in it. So there was a second edition for the last couple years, and I think also included like the Hall of Fame. Uh, this is really nice. It's so crisp. It's so like it's um, this beautiful. It's beautiful. Two books in one. Um, collecting and completing your G.I. Joe figures, volumes one and two. Chris Cardillo and James De Simone. Gorgeous. I love it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And now we have this, which. Ah, oh, 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 okay. This is. This is. Hold on. I gotta get this open. I may have to pause the video because I need to take the wrapping off. It, it's, a, it's a good idea because uh, it was actually time for me to replace what I was using before. This is a folder for fan mail. The mail that I say that I keep, uh, all those letters that you send me that I never throw away, uh, that's true. I have them in a big envelope and that envelope is getting too big. It's too filled and I needed something like this beautiful thing for your fan mail that you send. Um, wow, uh, that is very nice. Oh, and look at that, it's got, it's, it's got dividers so I can organize things. That is, huh, that's extremely thoughtful. Extremely, extremely thoughtful. Thank you for that. Um, and I think that's it. No, that's not it. That's not it. Um, yes, um, some Gorilla Glue, uh, this, because I broke the, um, uh, the Ninja Lightning, um, and so this, uh, th this will help me repair those little, those little breaks that happen from time to time, uh, so thank you for that. See, very practical stuff, very practical, very useful, um, and I believe that's it, except, uh, this... Looks like there's something wrapped in here. This may just be uh, a protector for the bottom. I don't think this is... Oh, no, no, this is... Yeah, this is part of... Yeah, this is something you mentioned in... in the letter. Um, very well wrapped. I commend your packing skills. Yes. Ah, oh, I dig that. See, uh, I'm getting more artwork for the studio, and so the studio is going to look great. That is framed, and yeah, that's like, that is a gorgeous shot of the team with vehicles, 
and uh, that that's that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Well, wow, this is this is really special. Um, another special box. Uh, extremely thoughtful. Uh, so thank you for this. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't know what else to say. That's just overwhelming. Um, you guys have really sent some amazing things um, this month, and I, I am humbled that you believe that I'm worthy of this. Uh, and so it makes me want to make sure I am. So I will, I will always try to do my best for you because you deserve it. Thank you very much. Okay, I still have a stack of boxes uh, that I moved to the floor. Don't think I had forgotten about them. I didn't forget about them. I promise. Uh, so uh, let's uh, let's let's do this one. Uh, this is from J.K. Siege. Uh, and let's see what's in it. Um, I see something blue. Uh, let's see, again, well packed, well packed. Um, intriguing. I see some stuff in there, but I see a letter first. Let's uh, let's look at the letter. Uh, hello from Fred Six. Hello, Fred Six. Not Fred Sixty Nine. It's Fred Six. Thanks for the channel. I hope you enjoy what I sent. Don't mean to break your balls. Just one example. Uh, all my love to you and your family. Your true, yours truly, Fred Six. Um, thank you, thank you. Uh, and I, I really appreciate your support too. You've been very supportive. Um, so uh, first, what we have is a fun school storm shadow. Now. Uh, most of you probably go to Fun School Ronnie for all your Fun School needs, um, but uh, it, this is just kind of neat to have. This, look at that. Um, I, I love Fun School stuff. I really do. Uh, even though I don't actively collect it, I'm like I'm not trying to get a complete Fun School collection. But uh, getting an item or two like this is so awesome because I just love looking at the differences, uh, just the way a, a different company. And, in a different country approached G.I. Joe and kind of adapted G.I. Joe to their market. Um, I love looking at this stuff. It's just really fascinating to me. Um, and we've got, um, uh, uh, we have, um, yes, we have, um, we have a hood. We, we have what appears to be a, a Cobra Commander hood. Um, my goodness. and and. Yes, we have. Uh, yes, we, we have a, a Cobra T-shirt in the in the royal blue, with a Cobra Commander hood. Uh, make sure I'm not losing anything in the bottom there. All right, all right. So I've been talking about it for years, and I have the Cobra Commander pistol, but um, I hadn't actually. I see how it works. I see how it works. Hold on. I had not actually. Uh, Made the effort to do a Cobra Commander cosplay. So I think the hint here is that it's time. I need to do it. I need to do the Cobra Commander cosplay. Um, and I love the hood. This is kind of how I was imagining the hood should look. Uh, if I was going to make a hood, yeah, with the, uh, the mask underneath, I was going to do something like that. Uh, but you've beaten me to it, and that's just so cool. Um, so Fred Six... Uh, awesome stuff. Thank you. And thank you for all your support uh, over a fair amount of time now. You've been a friend of the channel for some time, and it's uh, it's very much appreciated. Oh, oh, I almost forgot something. <laughs> Keeping with the theme, it's the man himself, the hooded Cobra Commander. Uh, I still think this is my favorite Cobra Commander figure. It's just, I, I love it. Um... It's, it's a cool figure. And I didn't have any mail aways when I was a kid, so I didn't have this figure as a kid. So this is one that when I started collecting as an adult, I really wanted to get because I always wanted it. I always, friends had it, had some friends that had it, and I didn't, and I always wanted it. So uh, a beautiful, a beautiful Cobra Commander with, uh, with his crotch busted. I get what you mean in the letter now, so. Uh, thank you, Fred Six. Uh, really awesome stuff, and thanks for thanks for being a friend of the channel. Okay, next this big one, um, and it is quite big, uh, and I've split it uh, open on the top so we can open it up and see what it is. And we have a letter. Uh, good thing I got something new to put these letters in. 
Um, it says HCC 788. Um, oh, oh the, it, it spoils what's in the box. I don't want to spoil it. Uh, I want to read this though. Um, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Uh, Chris Centaur 71 Meyer. Um, Chris Centaur 71, thank you for this. Uh, and now I know what it is. So, um, so uh, I'll just I'll just pull it out so you can see what it is. Um, it's something big. It's uh, something quite large. Uh, it's uh, it's a large big thing. Um, and let's see. There are, it looks like there are some parts that are. Loose, but I'll 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 get them. I won't I won't leave them in the box. Uh, it is the Phantom X19 um, Stealth Fighter with yeah Ghost Rider is in there. He is in the pilot seat. Dig that. Um, and uh, yeah, then like if, yeah, here are the the uh, like the wing covers. Hold on, stick it stick into things. Oh, and some of the like the drone bombs so it's got it's got a lot of stuff here um but you know what's awesome it's uh okay I, I, don't worry i'll get that missile this is the variant uh the variant of uh the the um, uh, handle the switch the thing that puts the the landing gear down if i can do it. it's a little stuck i won't i won't mess with it right now but anyway this is the variant so when I review this, I'll be able to show both of these. Uh, they, they had another one that they did. This one is just pulled straight out. They had another one that where you kind of had to pull it down. Um, and I don't remember exactly which one was the early one, but I think that one was the early one. And then they changed it uh, and made it uh, um, a little easier, I think. So yeah, this is awesome. Gorgeous jet, love it. Uh, the pilot, the missile, which I dropped on the floor, but I'll pick up. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, this is something if I choose to complete it, um, I feel like I can find the parts for this, uh, no problem. Uh, so uh, Chris, amazing, uh, awesome, thank you. This also will help with a, uh, a future review, uh, specifically because it's that variation. I was going to need to track that down. Well, right here it is. Thank you very much. Okay, all right. Down to two boxes. Let me move some of the packing material out of the way. Uh, this one. Now, this one here, um, I did peek inside because this is the box that got kind of messed up a little bit um, in shipping. Uh, so I want to make sure nothing was broken in here. It's safe. Everything's cool. Everything's fine. I just wanted to make sure. So, uh, but I, I will do this one first. This is from uh, Jason Karest, um, and we have an envelope, and it is labeled HCC 788. I think this is for me. Uh, so I will open it, uh, and we have a letter, ooh, uh, with some cards in it. Uh, yeah, looks like some business cards. Uh, in, oh, in Des Moines, Iowa. Hey, I know somebody in Des Moines, Iowa right now. Uh, it says, I've sent the air defense and, and on a t-shirt I thought, uh, uh, oh, and a t-shirt I thought you'd like. Uh, don't worry about compensating me for this. I'm more than happy to contribute to your YouTube channel. Make G.I. Joe fun and interesting and nostalgic for me, and I thank you. Uh, I've taken the liberty of enclosing our local shop's business cards. So this is your local shop, cool. Um, if you or any of your viewers make it to the Des Moines area, uh, I, I may make it to the Des Moines area in the near future, actually. Um, check them out. I, it'll be on the agenda. Um, they sell a lot of different things. Almost always see something new um, fr from a toy line long forgotten. Uh, it's a trip. Sincerely, Jason. Thank you, Jason. Uh, and thanks for this. Actually, that's really useful. Uh, because my hope is to, in the near future, be in that area. Uh, so, um, let's see. This is packed well. And, yeah, it, this is something, you know, you may not think this is a big deal, but for me it is because um, it's been a missing piece in my collection, like, forever. This is the air defense unit. Um, and it's, here are the other pieces here. Um, pull them out carefully. Um, this thing, I, I mean, I, I don't know why I hadn't just gotten it. Um, it's not a rare piece, but it's just one that I just, it's, 
it ha it's just eluded me. Um, I didn't find one uh, in the past that I thought was either the right price or in uh, good enough condition, and this looks great. Uh, this is looks great. So again, this, oh, sorry, for a future review, um, all the parts are there. Uh, and uh, I just, I kind of dig this thing. I, I, I always have been fascinated by the, uh, the details on it. Um, and so thanks, thanks for this, big help. Everything that helps me get uh, ready for a review is a, a big help. Um, and I, I promise you there's large or small, it's all appreciated uh, very, very much. And uh, this is the t-shirt. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I see what it is. Oh, dig that. It's the Stinger. It's the it's the emblem on the, the Cobra Stinger from 1984. That's gorgeous. I love it. And black and red, perfect, perfect. Um, now this is great, absolutely love it. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Okay, this final box uh, from James Thompson. Thank you, James. Uh, I did peek in it because when I pulled the box out, uh, got it from my P.O. box, uh, it looked like uh, uh, somebody had uh, stepped on it. Uh, not your fault, uh, but I wanted to make sure everything was safe in there, so it still is. So uh, I confess I do know what's in here, but you're about to be surprised about what's in here. Um, it says, uh, a couple items for you. I know uh, you have the tank. Hope you uh, want ti a Tiger Force vehicle. Thank you. Uh, please explain um, an in-universe reason for G.I. Joe to have Cobra equipment. Um, is it uh, obsolete and only G.I. Joe is using it uh, at the time of Tiger Force, or do both Joe and Cobra use it? Also, the treat is for Mrs. HCC788 for putting up with you. <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, especially today, she'll probably appreciate that. So that is another letter to keep, thank you. Uh, and uh, the treat is um, Andy's Mints. Uh, and I, I assure you I've kept them in a cool place so that uh, they haven't melted. And, uh, and she really likes Andy's Mints, so thank you. Perfect, perfect. Um, the thing that is in here is, you'll like this, actually two things. This is the cat tank. The Crimson Attack Tank. Um, let's zoom, zoom in. Now, you may have seen this uh, recently, uh, but uh, if you've seen it in a video recently, then you know how much I love this thing. Uh, the treads are in beautiful shape, um, as the battery cover. Uh, it is missing the gun cap, but I have one of those. Um, the uh, tow hitch is intact. The thing is just clean. Um, it's just in great, gorgeous shape. And I love, hey, I guess maybe red and black is the theme for this video. I didn't know it was going to be the theme, but uh, I just, I love the red and black. Uh, gorgeous, gorgeous. There's one more thing in here, one more thing, and that is this, which is the Tiger Force version of the water moccasin called the Tiger something. I can't remember off the top of my head what the tiger code name for it is. Oh, it looks like the little thing has come undone, but it's intact. That's good. This piece is frequently broken on this vehicle, as it usually is on the uh, water moccasin, uh, but it is intact here, so that's very nice. Uh, really lovely looking vehicle. Now, he asked if there is an in-universe reason for G.I. Joe to have Cobra vehicles. Um, Basically, the way they tried to explain it is these are captured Cobra vehicles. G.I. Joe and their various um, battles against Cobra captured these vehicles intact and then repainted them and decided they're going to use them themselves. So I guess this saves taxpayer money, right? So every, VI, every vehicle G.I. Joe can steal is a vehicle they don't have to, uh, to buy or build. So uh, yeah, uh, but... Uh, Tiger Force, it's obviously, it's just outlandish. The colors are crazy. The bold tiger stripes, the yellow, the white, brown, red, everything. It's just kind of nutso, but it's so visually striking that it, it still appeals to me a lot. So uh, awesome, J really, just amazing, 
Amazing. Thank you. And I almost forgot. I almost forgot a, a Crimson Guardian Mortal uh, who j just needed a, another O-ring. Uh, but fortunately, Brandon sent some O-rings so I can get this guy all fixed up. And an army builder to boot. Hey, maybe he could be the driver of the Crimson Attack Tank. I think that would be pretty sweet. So that is everything, and that was a lot. That was, uh, that may have been our biggest month. Um, and uh, I'm very appreciative. Uh, people sent things that were personal. People sent things that were specifically to help the show and get things ready to review. Uh, Brandon sent some amazing things, including some This can be overwhelming. Um, I, I, uh, I don't ask for things, so if you don't want to send it, if you have any reservation at all about sending things in, then you don't have to send anything. Um, but the things that have been sent in are just uh, it's, um, it, it's overwhelming. Uh, and I can't express to you enough how grateful I am for it. So thank you for that. Um, if anyone feels like sending anything, um, again, the P.O. box will be on your screen. Uh, do not feel like you have to. Please never feel obligated to. Um, if you do, I will do a video like this and I'll open things up and show uh, everyone what you sent um, and if I don't get anything then I just won't do a video and that's absolutely fine too because you know we still got we still got um, reviews coming up uh, every Sunday uh, we got still a lot more GI Joe stuff to review and we're just gonna keep keep doing it we're gonna keep going until we get it all done thank you to everyone who sent things thanks to everyone even if you didn't thank you just for watching uh, I will see you again, maybe for one of these next month, but I'll see you next week with the G.I. Joe toy review. I'll see you then. And uh, remember, uh, only G.I. Joe and only Cobra uh, are G.I. Joe and Cobra. I'll see you later.